this is midweek. Yeah. And this area out here was loaded with people for, through the weekend. So that was the first time we experienced the weekend influx of people. So we thought, um, since if you've been following us, you've watched all the systems be built. So we can, we thought we'd give a brief run through of the systems, um, starting out with water, which is frowny face for me <laughs> because I keep getting in trouble for taking too long of a shower. Randy's not willing to give up his daily showers. And so, yeah, that's one reason we've been here for 10 days. So we're going to have to go back tomorrow because we're running out of water. Um, no, we choose to go back tomorrow. <laughs> yes, we're choosing to go back tomorrow to go to go back to the shop. So that's one thing that we're going to have to um, make some adjustments and learn to overcome. A little overcome. bit more, yeah. yeah. So yeah. the solar is working awesome. Yeah. We seldom. I got my tools out and I was turning wood and goofing around making stuff, and you know because that's another adjustment for me is. The final phase has been to, okay, what tools are you going to bring with you and where are you going to put them? So the tools, we got them all in here. They're not... We keep getting distracted by the birds flying by. <laughs> there is like, There's we a... are new to bird watching, but I love it. There is... There's a plethora of birds around this here. This unbelievable huh? amount of birds. And we put the wee boost up. We had one, one bar strength. And we've got four bars up here now. And the downside to that is when I don't have what I need, I can just go on Amazon and it's waiting for me when I get back. Yeah, so it's there at the shop. I'll be like, so. honey, I just bought, honey, I just <laughs> bought. Our son and daughter-in-law gifted us the Wee Boost when they went to Ecuador. And uh, at first I wasn't thinking it was gonna work too well, but this, the, I mean. This trip proved. We've been streaming Netflix every night. Yeah. It's like, it's, Easy. It's a wonderful, wonder, and YouTube. So we're staying up on all of our YouTube. Yeah, so. we're watching you YouTubers. <laughs> oh, and the other thing that we did is I never made a video on it, but when I did the propane system, I put an extra uh, shutoff valve for a dedicated auxiliary propane for the barbecue. So and we've used it. Uh, yeah. So we broke yeah. that in on this trip. So that works great. For me, I, I know I was going to be working outside. And so if nothing else, I need a hat with a brim because I'm getting too much sun. Uh, but I think I really need a little easy up. The, but I need to solve the sun problem when I'm out goofing around with my tools. But I made, oh, I don't have it on. I made a bus bead. Yeah. Made, he's, been, he's been making beads. I've been making beads and doing a little bit of wood turning, trying to get the systems all figured out. But we have to be honest, YouTube. Um, no, this, we don't. This is a little <laughs> bit of an adjustment. <laughs> a little bit of an adjustment. Randy's not embracing it as easily. <laughs> I'm not as flexible. Yeah, as he's not as flexible as I am, apparently. Um, Here's the problem, YouTube. It's easy to hash out a plan but sometimes in that plan the things that you thought wouldn't be a challenge are more challenging than you thought they would be or I can only speak for myself they're more challenging than I thought they would be and as crazy as this is but I know people are going to chime in and say yeah <laughs> not having to produce something because I I've been a production artist for 31 years 31 years 32 years yeah 32 years that, so when that I, was our life so when i go to making beads my brain goes into well don't cut one of those cut six cut 12 you know that's inefficient don't do it like that but it's like i've reached the point where everybody would oh you know do what you want make what you want do it at your own pace do what you love to do. Ah, <laughs> I keep I'm trying to that. let it go. I'm trying to get there, but I'm not quite there yet. But I'm I'm working at it. I keep telling him this is what you've always dreamt of doing, to produce something that you love to do for the joy of it. But yeah. he keeps reverting back to work. So um, he'll get there. That's okay. Yeah, he'll get there. I am the perfect me. <laughs> so are you. You're the perfect you. <laughs> and we love you for that. <laughs> But what I have loved is just 
to have the time to sit and just watch nature and watch the birds and the things around us without having to feel like you need to be going somewhere or doing something. Yeah. That's been really great. And we've uh, just walked up and down the road here. We haven't really ventured out and explored anything. Um, we've just been very content to sit here and embrace yeah. the lifestyle. Okay, guys, here's the barbecue setup. It's just a little barbecue next grill. But the difference between this and the baby Q is it has two separate burners. So if you want to, you can do indirect grilling in there. And uh, here's the simple quick disconnect, which so I can just unplug that there. The hose goes back into the uh, propane cabinet and this one wraps around and goes in the under bay. So there's the uh, mast for the Wii Boost at the exterior antenna. And it just plugs into that little socket that I built up there. I put one of those little spring plungers. The guy had a, the guys at the shop had a spring plunger that I put in there. So that thing, you just push the little button and it snaps off. It's actually the top rail of a chain link fence. So one, it has that tapered end that plugs the other one into it. So it was super easy to fix that. And then where we come into the bus. I love this part. This is so clever. We didn't want to put any more holes and we were like, how are we going to do that gap? But we split a noodle. Uh huh. It's a pond noodle and it's, and it matches the bus, <laughs> but that works perfectly. And, um, it seals up the window and yeah. yeah. So when we get ready to go down the road, I'll just, uh, unscrew it from the machine inside and pop the mask down, wrap up the cord and away we go down the road. We roll baby. since I started fixing the bus. Mm -hmm. I cut these round and they're a son of a gun to glue when they're round. So I remembered that after I did it. Okay guys, time for lunch break. I can handle this. <laughs> oh, it's tough. Somebody's got to do it, huh? Everything will be waiting for me over there. <laughs> when I get done. This is the bus life, man. We are embracing it. <laughs> Okay guys, there's where the bus is parked. And that is pretty open right now. And we are just going for a little walk up the road that we drove down. Here's another angle of the reservoir, you guys. And you can see the bus off in the distance. And hopefully you can see the yellow in the hills. 
Okay guys, we're out for a morning walk and we're heading towards the dam and we spied this golden eagle in the top of the trees. Um, it looks like a golden eagle, but we talked to somebody yesterday. He also said there's young, immature bald eagles up here too. Okay guys, right there is the dam and off to the right is a day use only park. We're on the other side of the dam and um, the dry brown spot that is in the middle of the picture is where the bus is parked. So that just kind of gives you a perspective of how big this area is. Hey Randy, what are we doing? Roasting sausages. Ooh, yeah, somebody left us some firewood. And so our first fire, guys. And we've got some sausages that we're cooking. Yum. We had to make up a, yeah. we weren't prepared with roasting sticks, so we had to recycle that piece of pole wire we used when we put the brake in the pickup. <laughs> I know, it's amazing what you can do, right? It's working. We're gonna have roasted sausages one way or the other. <laughs> Hey, so we want to just thank you guys for um, coming along on this journey with us and know that we love sharing it with you and we will just catch you on the next adventure. Love to you all. Bye.